All right, so it is the 29th of November, 2013, and I'm just leaving home on my way to work. As I mentioned uh, in my last little update video that I made there, um, I've been planning on filming my ride from home to work, um, and I'm gonna show what my ride looks like if I take Young Street all the way, um, pretty much all the way from here up to uh, Shepherd Avenue where I work. And uh, today is the 29th, as I said, of the month and the last weekday of the month of November. And I kind of have a goal of trying to film one of these at least once during every month. So I've already done uh, my September one and October one, and this is gonna be my November one. So I had to do it today or I would have missed it. So it's a fairly cold day today. Uh, the, the temperature when I looked at it this morning when I woke up was negative seven Celsius. I think it may have warmed up by an degree or two since then. So this street I'm on is called Young Street. It's one of the main streets of Toronto. There's a subway line that runs directly below it for basically all the way from the lake up to um, past where I work. And there's a stop for that subway that's about a, about a 10 minute walk from my apartment building. So this is quite a busy street. There's lots of cars that drive on it every day. But it certainly is fast to ride on it because the road that I normally ride on, uh, which is called Duplex or Jedburg, uh, both those, those roads have the residential streets. It's only about a block away from where I am right now. And uh, every, every, almost every single intersection along there, there's a stop sign. So a four-way stop, you gotta stop at, or at least slow down. So it makes for a, there's not a whole lot of flow to your ride. You're always, you know, always looking around, looking both ways before you cross all those intersections. For this one, you got traffic lights, and most of the time they're, they're in your favor. So along here, you usually only stop maybe once or twice along the way. So you can see there's a few little white spots along the ground here. Um, we got, our very first snow was last Saturday morning as I was showing. And uh, that snow kind of stuck around a little bit. It was really just a light dusting of snow, but it's pretty much stayed cold since then. So that snow stayed. And then on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening, or, uh, yeah, evening, uh, we got a fair bit more snow. Uh, not a whole lot. It was, again, it was just a light dusting. And, riding to work on Wednesday morning was just basically a slushy mess. The snow was really wet and soft and not too slippery. All right, so we're just coming up to Lawrence Avenue. So as I was saying, there's a subway line that runs below us and there's between my stop, which is Eglinton stop, and Shepherd stop where I get off, there are two subway stops along the way. So the first one is Lawrence, so basically we're about a third of the way north towards Shepherd, so. And my distance so far is 1.95K, so just, a, just under 2K. Should also mention that taking, the, taking this route definitely shaves 
some kilometers off my route as well. Because it is the most direct way. And thankfully I'm able to ride my my regular commuting bike, my rally sport, my blue bike. As I was mentioning in my last video there, um, I broke an axle on it last Tuesday and having a lot of difficulty finding a replacement axle for it because it was such a long axle that the one I took out of it was, you know, so much longer than anything I had and I tried the four or five bike shops that are all near the area where I work and where I live and none of them were able to sell me anything that was nearly as long as what I had and most of them were pretty unwilling to order me one because they don't really order a whole lot of stuff in the winter and they only really get free shipping on stuff like that when they got you know a big order so I did finally go down to another shop and they were able to order me one, but uh, that was Saturday, it still hasn't come in yet. But as I said, I'm on my bike, so I did manage to get an axle um, somewhere else. They have a do it your actually they have a few do-it-yourself bike shops in Toronto. And there's one that I actually volunteer at occasionally. So while I was downtown after I'd ordered the the uh, the $15 axle that the the guy from the the guys from the bike shop down there were ordering for me. I decided I'd just drop by the do-it-yourself place and figure maybe I'd you know volunteer for an hour or so or just kind of help out. And I just like I walked through the door and just went straight to the axle department. I like the it's not a department the the bin of parts where the axles were kept. And after looking in there for less than a minute, I found an axle that was exactly the same as what my bike had. You know, I compared mine side by side, they're the exact same length. And it was perfect, in perfect shape. Not bent at all. Not corroded. It even came with brand new hardware, like including the cone and the spacers and lock and all that stuff. So, it's so like, okay, let's, let's buy that. Because I don't want to have to wait for the other one. So the place where I ordered it from was selling it for $15 and this place, the do-it-yourself bike shop, which sells used parts, sold it to me for only $2. So right here we're coming down the big hill. So unfortunately at this part in the video, uh, the voice recorder that I was using to record my voice as I was riding unfortunately uh, ran out of batteries. Um, so I'm just narrating this little part of the video uh, from my desk after the fact. Um, so as I was starting to say, I'm coming down the big hill into Hogs Hollow. And as I'd be doing my normal route, um, my normal route actually joins up with Young right at the top of that hill there. Uh, as we pass the Loblaws and then I would take the first right um, onto that Dawn Woods Road. Um, so instead of turning right, I'm just going straight down the hill, staying on Young Street. So this is always a fun part in the ride, coming down the hill. Um, coming down this part where you're coming along beside the cars is um, not especially unsafe because you're pretty much going as fast as they're going so you don't have a whole lot of them uh, passing you. Uh, so we're just coming up to uh, the intersection of York Mills and Young or Wilson Avenue and Young and the road actually changes names um, at this part along the way. Um, and if you'll notice as I was talking earlier, you know, as I'm you know, riding along and talking, I've, I've certainly noticed after the fact that you know I'm, I'm breathing a whole whole lot more like my breathing is a lot heavier and it's harder for me to speak as I'm riding um, than in the previous uh, commuting to work videos that I've filmed and I think that's related to the temperature being that it was about negative uh, six or eight or something like that um, on this day um, it ended up being um, you know quite cold and I think that when it, the air is colder uh, you have to breathe uh, more when you're exercising. Uh, so I'm just stopped here now at, at the intersection of uh, York Mills and Young Street 
And uh, if you'll notice, this is actually the very first part that I actually had to stop along the way. Um, I was very lucky um, to not have had any uh, red lights except for this one along the whole way. As I, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, typically I normally get maybe two or three red lights along the way. And, uh, but, but this day I was, uh, you know, it was a very fast ride because I didn't have um, any traffic lights, any, any red lights at all uh, to stop at. Uh, so we're just going to uh, continue along through, uh, through York Mills here. And uh, I'm just going to pull over here and see if I can get my uh, voice recorder to start working again. Alright, I think we got everything working again there. My voice recorder just, I guess, ran out of batteries, but luckily I had a spare few in my front bike light that I swapped out. So now we're back in business. So this is the least fun part about riding along Young Street. Um, it's very busy and very noisy. And of course, you're coming back up that hill you just came down. So it's a lot of work. So uh, that last intersection we crossed was Lawrence Avenue, or sorry, was uh, York Mills. And right as I passed the intersection, my odometer sits uh, 4K, 4K. So we're now three or two thirds of the way there. And I actually don't ride all the way along Young. Um, the last little section um, of this ride I do, I take the same roads that I uh, do on my normal commute because Young Street around Shepherd Avenue is pretty, pretty crazy. It's, you know, it's a very high volume area. The intersections are huge, like six or seven lanes in each direction. And the little detour section that I'd usually do on that side is pretty uh, pretty direct, so it doesn't really slow me down too much. I'd probably take this route maybe once every two weeks or so, maybe even less. It's only if I really just feel like, you know, a bit of a change or if I'm, you know, really running late and I want to you know, there's something I, at work that I should be, you know, fairly early for or something. Sometimes I'll do Young Street for like the first half, like... I'll take it until I get to where the Loblaws was there and then I'll, I'll turn and take my normal route through Hogs Hollow. That's not too bad. Basically what I do is, is bypass this section right here. Oh boy. So the hill isn't nearly as steep as what I do on, a, on my normal route here, but it's the same height, it's just more spread out. Okay, so this is where I turn. So this is the big 401 up ahead here that I have to get underneath of. And even though I'm not actually going on the 401, I have to go on the on-ramp for it to get to the sidewalk that I'm trying to get to. And sometimes people give me funny looks like, why are you on that? You're not supposed to go on the 401. The 401 is not made for bikes and you're actually not allowed. So we're gonna turn left here. And now we got smooth sailing the rest of the way. The rest of the way.
So yeah, as I was saying, I did manage to get that axle, and uh, so I, I installed that on on uh, Monday night. So I've been riding my regular commuting bike since then. I haven't uh, ridden the other one. I put the uh, the, the uh, winter tires on it, the ones that have studs on it, uh, for riding on the very icy and snowy days. But on days like today when there's just a little bit of snow, I prefer having regular tires, so that's why I've got both. So this part here should be familiar if you've seen my September and October commuting rides. They finally finished paving this section up here. But the construction continues at the big condo there at the end. It's almost finished, but there's still all these big trucks coming and going with big giant cranes and stuff. They're always crowding up the road. So now it's been 6K, and my moving time is 17 minutes and nine seconds, so not even 20 minutes yet. Where my, uh, my normal, taking my normal route is about 7.75 kilometers, and it takes over, 25, like 28 minutes kind of thing. So it is a substantial difference. And that house right there is just being built now. If you came here about two months ago, actually it'd be neat to look in the other video compared to that spot. Uh, there was a whole different house there and one day I just showed up, or just riding through here, and there's a big excavator that was just, you know, working on the outside of it, knocking some of it down, and then by the end of the day, the whole house was totally flattened. And since then they, thanks. They dug out that, ex, that big uh, foundation and put a new one in and now they're already framing the new one, so it happened very quickly. All right, so we're just crossing Shepherd Avenue. I was lucky to get a, a green light through there and we're pretty much at work now. So now, even though it's winter, I'm still gonna go inside and have a nice warm shower before I put on my work clothes and uh, then I'll start my day. Uh, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed following along in my November, nearly December, ride to work. Thanks for watching.